Welcome back to Tabletop Salt. I'm Ross. I'm David. And today we're going to bring you another one of our episodes of Grimdark Champion. Today I'll be using Bloodthirst of Incessant Rage. And I'm not going to let you win a third time with a Corn Greater Demon. I'm going to change it up. I'm done with Zinch. Not, not forever because they're my favourite. I'm done for Zinch for today. Yeah. I'm moving on to Nurgle. Take on a great claim on Ross. It's not going to happen a third time. I'm winning Well, this you know, when the gods off, Corn is winning quite a lot. You know, abandon Zinch, bring another one for me to collect some skulls. And it's a big fat old skull I'm going to collect from that great unclean one. Oh my lord. And you know what? You might. <laughs> yeah, I might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it was Scarbrand, definitely. He's a monster. <laughs> so how this works is that we do set up 24 inches, just over 24 inches apart. Unless we don't have any ranged weapons or any ranged advantage, then we'll just set up just over 18 inches. So we can get into combat a bit earlier. Uh, we also start with three command points each, no up, no down, no way to farm them, just three so we can get stratagems as well. And we also get legion traits, swallow traits, and relics where applicable. So with that, let's have a look at the champions. Next up in this grim dark champion of the demons, I will be bringing a bloodthirster of incessant rage. So that has a movement characteristic that does change from 12, 8 to 6. Weapon skill from 2 to 3 to 4 as it gets damaged. 2 plus plus skill because it loves to shoot, strength 7 and toughness 7, 16 wounds, attacks that deteriorate from 6 to 4 to 2, leadership 10 and a 3 plus save. Has the Great Axe of Corn, so it's Mighty Strike as melee, times 2 strength, minus 4 AP and d6 damage. Each time you roll to determine how much damage the weapon inflicts, roll 2d6 and discard the highest. Uh, it also has Sweeping Attack, which is strength user, minus 2 AP and 1 damage but make two hit rolls instead of one for each uh, attack with this weapon. Has Demonic, Unstoppable Ferocity, Demonic Ritual, is Greater Demon, so demons around it can use the, his leadership test, so that shouldn't be a big thing in this match. Also has Deathbringer, so each unmodified hit roll of six made for this model's attack in the fight phase scores two hits. I have the Armour of Scorn, so that gives me a four pinball and deny one psychic ability. Warlord Trait will be oblivious to pain, just so I get a 6 up, I uh, feel no pain, and if I pass it, I can reroll hits and wounds till my next uh, end of turn. And then I also have Low Kai of Rage to reroll charge. And that's my Bloodthirster of Incessant Rage. Today against the Bloodthirster is a great unclean one. It has a stat line with a full efficiency of Mavid 7, Weapon Skill 2, Ballistic Skill 3, Strength 7 at full efficiency, Toughness 7, 18 wounds, Attacks 5 at full efficiency, Leadership 10, Armour Save 6. Has a 5 up inball save and Disgusting Resilient to ignore wins in a 5 plus. It'll have the Plague Flail today and the Bile Sword. Both of those are pretty nasty damages, um, but the Plague Flail can hit units that are within an inch. We'll be ignoring the Putrid Offering rule and the Greater Demon rule. Um, and obviously, we have the Crushing Bulk rule, so roll a d6 at the end of your charge phase. If a model made a successful charge during that phase and a 4 plus, flick the enemy unit. They suffer a uh, minus one to their. They suffer a mortal wound, sorry. Uh, and we don't have the Doomsday Bell, so there'll be no re reverberating summons rule. We're also taking zero relics, guys. His two spells will be Fleshy Abundance, Virulent Blessing, and Smite. And then we have the um, war the Loci, sorry, which will be Loci of Virulence, or Virulence, um, which is each time you make a wound roll of six, it will inflict an additional damage and his Warlord trait will be Acidic Icker. Roll a dice each time your Warlord loses a wound in the fight, plays, fight phase. On a 4+, plus, the unit inflicted that wound is splashed with Acidic Icker and suffers a mortal wound. All of its own attacks have been after all of its own attacks have been resolved. Let's crack on. So, to my left we have the Great Unclean One, and to my right we have... Bloodthirster of Incessant Rage. So they're just over 18 inches apart, Purely because, well, Great and Clean One might struggle to even get near. But it could mean the Incessant Rage just goes to town. So yeah, I also have no ranged weapons whatsoever. Yeah, yeah my ranged weapons aren't exactly that long, Ross. Well, yeah, <laughs> we're going to wheel each other in combat then. So we'll bro and see who goes first. Okay, for the Incessant Rage. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I just need to try and go first and try and get a charge. David has elected to go first with the Great Unclean One, basically to barrel, on, barrel down forward and try and get the charge. Uh, he's also got psychic abilities and various other abilities as well. So let's see what we can do as we go into battle round one. So guys, I have pretty much just moved on forward. I've got a 10 inch charge to make, but before we do that, 
I'm going to skip the shooting phase because I can't shoot, but we're going to do a psychic phase. Well, psychic comes before shooting. I know, but we're going to do a psychic okay. phase. So I'm going to start with smite. Um, let's see if I can get it. Uh, you know what? I don't get it. Um, and I'm not going to re-roll a dice for that. So we're going to go into Virulent's Blessing, which I really do want, which can double my damage on a wound roll of a 7, which, by the way, is doable. Yes. So, uh uh, I get it with uh, 9, you can stop it with 10 for your Armour of Scorn. Armour of Scorn's going to stop it, 10. Oh, do you want to command point that? Do you want to think about it? Uh, no, I'm going to let it go. Okay. Charge time, need 11 inches. Do want to command point that 3? So if you get a 6, you will get in. Yeah, let's have a think about it. Nope. Can I command point it for a 6? Yes, so we get in. Okay, so before we swing, there's a couple of interesting things due to Virulent's Blessing and my Virulent Loci. So I will be five attacks, hitting on twos. I'll be winding on threes normally because I'm strength eight with the Bile Sword, but I'll now be winding on twos due to Virulent Blessing. Any wind roll of a five is activating the Loci, which means it's additional damage, but any wind roll of a six is activating the Virulent Blessing double damage rule plus the Loci's additional damage rule. Okay, good luck remembering the lap. Yeah, I know. So, right, two's to hit first of all, and I've still got two command points left. So they all hit. Time for the wind rolls. Two's to wind. Okay, so we've got two fives. Uh-huh. And I get to reroll all field wins due to the Bile Sword. Yep. Okay, so you've got two at normal damage. Yep. Two at additional damage and one at double damage plus additional. Okay, so the four ups. So this is this is this is okay. Armor of scorn. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. Uh, and I don't want to reroll those ones. I want to reroll. Well, that we'll one. work at the damage because uh, they're different types of damage. Yeah, uh, we'll do this all. Okay. So, so we'll do this one. Uh, I'm going to do this one first in case I fail, and then I want to reroll this one. So yeah, going to reroll that one. Spend a command point. Four up. Armor of scorn. Oh, so that was the double damage plus the one, damage plus and these one. are just plus one damage. Oh, oh wow. my word! I think, right, okay. You cause... Well, wait, we need to work out the damage, it's d6. Yeah. So these are the two normal damage. Uh-huh. So you've just suffered oh, 12, 12 wounds, wounds, plus the additional damage ones. Yeah. So that's five, six, seven, eight. So... Okay, we've caused uh, 20 wounds uh -huh. and the double damage plus additional. So that will be uh, 6, 7. So you've suffered 27 wounds. I do have a 6 up at Noor. We'll get that ready. <laughs> I need to pass 11 of them. Great. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, I actually need to pass 12 of these because 27 wounds. So you need 12 sixes and 27 dice. No. Oh, you know, two. Oh, Three. three. So that is by far less I needed. Yeah. Twenty three damage. The yeah. great unclean one is truly a grim dark champion. Which I think that's twenty four damage. Oh, twenty four damage. Yeah. What a champion. So it looks like we do have a new grim dark champion, and I promise you, it wouldn't happen a third time. The great unclean one, I had to convert to Narwhal for the day to get the victory. Yeah. Yeah. That was. Uh... A lot more destructive than I thought it would be. I have to agree as well. I thought, you know, I would do a bit of damage, you would soak some up because obviously you've got a 5 up disgusting and resilient, and would juke it out. But then you just sort of introduced, you know, psychic poison blade of whatever you did on that one and stabbed me and caused unbelievable yeah. amount of damage. The combination of Virulent Blessing and the Loci is actually super dangerous, mm. especially if you've got a unit that can hit so effectively yeah. and reroll win so effectively. Yeah. It is super dangerous. Yeah, I've seen you do it with Demon Prince a couple of times, pretty good effect, but that was a, that was something else. That was a, that was night worthy killing. Yeah, that was insane. I think it would have killed a knight. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, if it did, it's a lot of damage. Yeah. That was, uh, that was painful. So guys, thanks very much for watching there. That was a really fun bet episode of Grimdark Champion there because I finally took out a corn demon. Yep. But anyway guys, uh, check us on the social media and the link down below for our Facebook page if you want to get channel updates along with the Patreon link if you were to support the channel to bring more content to you guys. Um, but with that, we hope you join us again in another one of our Grimdark Champion reports.